Hi, I'm Cynthia for Our Beats Cafe and Sherry is with me today. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Sherry. We always love to have you Thank with us. Thank you. <laughs> it's always fun to be here. Thank you. <laughs> and today we're talking about mixed metal. This is something we'd be seeing mm -hmm. is people who mix different uh, finishing of metal together. Right. And the effect is really cool. That's so beautiful. we wanted to show you also how you can do that. You definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and Sherry, there is one piece. Oh, and b before I forget, at the end, I will show you how to finish this little piece that I have in front of me. Pretty fun. Mm -hmm. But um, Sherry, here, this is big time mixed metal. It is. Did, did this with the colorful. <laughs> <laughs> it is Colored beautiful. Metal. Yeah. I love it. Isn't that fun? That chain comes with the, the different color coatings, that gorgeous turquoise and, and right. creamy white, and there's a dark kind of burgundyish red. There's mm -hmm. a beautiful gray. Yeah. And they look so pretty mixed to, um, with each other or with other metals. You know, the yes. ivory and the gray would be just gorgeous with gun metal. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so you could do a lot of different things with that. It is beautiful and yeah. very simple to do because then you just used a, a bar end, right? Right. With yeah. Several loop and yeah. that was it. Yeah. Very, very beautiful. I mean, Thank can you. you imagine how it drips? It drapes, like, yeah. It's, it's very it's really, flowy. Yeah, I love that. So let me push that away and then um, I wanted to show you those pieces. So in here, the metal that I uh, mix is a patina. And in the back here, I have a, a filigree piece. And let's see, this, this is that piece in here. And this is a great piece, it's flat. And uh, I love it to glue um, another piece of uh, embellishment on it. A great foundation piece. Exactly, right. okay. exactly. I love gluing things together. And this is what I did in here. And here I did another piece also. I love this little it's owl. So cute. And it's so cute. <laughs> yes. And I put it on the patina. Beautiful. Love that turquoise. Thank you. And for the patina, I wanted something that match. So that's why I did this um, tassel. Mm -hmm. And you see, we always want to pet it. Yeah. <laughs> and then the chain, I wanted something a little darker. So this is a little uh, copper, antique copper, dark color chain. So you have Beautiful. different metal here mixed together and I think the effect it's gorgeous. is really nice it really too. Is. Yeah. Thank you. Love that piece. So talking about mixing and gluing uh, pieces like that, I wanted to show you those here too. So for example, this is another uh, background that I really like. And I added on top of it, this little piece like that. Mm -hmm. And then a Rivoli Swarovski. Gives it that dimension. Yes, yeah, yes. That. So this is uh, the same backing but I'm adding this piece this time. I think this really mm -hmm. cool piece Beautiful. too. And again, a Swarovski um, in the middle. For that pop, right? Yeah, <laughs> so you can really yeah. play with different uh, pieces on top. Mm -hmm. And then, again, this is the uh, flat backing that I love. And on this one, I was able to do a enamel piece mm -hmm. from a garden and then a Cabela piece on top of it. Doesn't that enamel look beautiful yes. with then just the non-enamel? Mm -hmm. that, that contrast I think is really striking. I yeah, think so, beautiful. I think so. I, I cannot wait to finish that and So piece. many colors. It comes yes. in a lot of different colors of enamel, so yes. you can have a lot of fun with that. That's true. Yay. A red would be beautiful oh. on that too, yes. Mm -hmm. And then on your side here, um, I did this one, it's a patina and a uh, fleur de lis. Um, I love that patina piece. It's kind of, there's something royal about it. And I yes. thought Fleur de Lis should be yeah. on, on top of this. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. And then this piece that I really like too, um, come in uh, three different pieces. And actually I will, so you can do on this, um, this way, but I was thinking doing on the other, the other way, yes, like that. Mm. Love that. And I have three pieces glued together on this one. Okay, so piece here, piece here, yes. and then and the, the bottom. Okay, yes. and this one. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. And then, yes, here? this one also have three pieces. It's funny because you don't uh, really see, but here on the top, there is a teeny wheel, oh, like right. a steampunk wheel right. that I added on that piece, and then you have the big uh, background. Mm, love that. Thank you. And then over there, I love everything that have wings. So I had to add wings everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so this one has uh, one, two, three, four, four okay. pieces. So I glue the wings together and then uh, the other piece on top. I love that one. 
I oh, did that's too. So much fun. And this is how I love also when you mix uh, media, you, you make some unique pieces. Right. There is right. no one piece that will look the same because you can mix a bronze with a patina, or you can mix an antique copper right. with a patina. You can do you know, so many things. Make it originally yours. Yes. My favorite piece is on that uh, big necklace there. If you can bring that uh, closer, thank you. This one here. This is really my favorite, and I have one, two, three, four, five um, pieces <laughs> on it. Fun. <laughs> the more, the oh. better. Well, <laughs> the more original, blue. right? <laughs> oh, I love uh, it. I love it too. I think it's it's really beautiful. And when I did it, it looks again very royal, mm. but it has this darkness in it, and mm. I think it's because of the vitriol uh, Rivoli. Mm -hmm. So the chain that I use, I wanted to use something pretty dark. That's why I use a dark, a black uh, chain. But I wanted also to add a little light in it. So I use the green of the patina and the green of the vitrol mm -hmm. with the beads here. Beautiful. And so this is a vitrol um, Swarovski and then the, the green pearl, okay. Swarovski pearl. I love that. I, this is becoming my favorite piece, Yay. yes. I love it too. And then if you want to do something more uh, slim, simpler, uh, just go with silver and black like I mm. did here. So it's just some black chain and then the silver here. And again, I wanted the chain to have some pop up. So that's why I added the, the silver bead Little there. Highlights. I love that. So striking. Oh, thank you. Beautiful. Those are really fun. Um, and then on the small uh, bust here, I did, um, I think this one had a lot of success. <laughs> Everyone loved I love this, this one. Ooh. <laughs> and it makes noise, right? It does. It does. It jingles. <laughs> yeah. So um, the way how I started it, I love the crescent here, the crescent link. And it has this dark antique copper. So that's why I went with the chain with the, the copper. And I start a brass, antique brass will look great with that. Mm -hmm. So that's why I did different um, antique bracks and those are from a tira cast. And again, I wanted to bright up a little. So that's why I added some with the uh, Swarovski right. to make something uh, fun out of it. Love that. Oh, that's thank you. Super, super fun. Thank you. Yay. And on top of it, again, I mm. um, love those crescents where you can put so many dangled. Mm. And here I did, so this is gold plated and then I did some copper and in between, I have some little beads also, yeah. and it goes really well together. It's beautiful. I oh, love the, the tones that this copper has mm -hmm. and mixed with that soft gold. It's so, just so warm and soft. That's it's true. Yeah, it's it. warm. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Very fun. Thank you. And you, Sherry, you made a really cute um, pair of necklace here, too. Yeah, this has the um, fun um, stamping on it, mm -hmm. and we stamped this. It's the brass, um, and it just stamps beautifully, almost like butter. Right. <laughs> really soft, and then highlighted the letters with, with some patina, and then have the sweet silver heart mm -hmm. that um, pops from it, and then a little accent with the silver moon, and then mixed up the chain color. Right. The light silver and darker gunmetal, mm -hmm. and then the soft gold. And so I, I just love the way yeah, that all works that together. works really well yeah. together yeah it's you know we tend to mm -hmm. always go with one finish yeah. but then when you start mixing them um, there are so many more possibilities and then you it give right. a different style it of does. your jewelry it too yes. yeah this has been one of my favorites that's really cute yeah. yes and here so we put together uh, some bracelets and we wanted to show you the variety and how you can mix them together so we have those great bracelets Right. And let's play okay. a little more. <laughs> <laughs> so the bracelet are great because um, so they, they close this way and it's easy to open them. And then to be able to put your beads or your charm, you just unscrew the, this bead here like that. And uh, for the brass, I wanted something that uh, have the feeling of the forest. Mm -hmm. So I love, love, love this little owl. So that's why I choose the owl. And I thought, he needs a crown. So let's oh, give him a crown. 
<laughs> There's a beautiful patina crown here. And what is really great is we do have also a jump ring that have this little patina on top of it. So let's give him mm -hmm. a crown. And of course, owls live in trees. So I have those beautiful mm -hmm. little uh, leaves. And I thought it goes in different trees. So what about the silver leaves too? So you can go on like that and, and, and do a lot of mixes, but I thought it's so cute together. Right, put as little as you want or as much as you yes. want. Yes, yeah. and if you don't want them to, uh, um, you know, if you want to make a separation, you could put a little bead in between, like that it gives space in between them. Right. And then you just put the bead back uh, there. You just screw it back. So what did you choose, I Sherry? I love that. Well, I went um, with uh, the gold and silver palette and thought um, nice and sleek. Mm -hmm. And so um, I love these sweet little hammered, um, they're almost like little right. lentils. Mm -hmm. And so I loved, whoops. And I love uh, that you choose the jump that. ring being um, gold right. instead of a silver right. jump ring. And then the little gold dagger. Love that too. And then another little lentil. And I just love this two-tone um, yellow and gold. Mm -hmm. My little cap. There it is. Pretty easy to... Uh, yeah, very easy. And then look how sweet oh, that is. Oh, that is really and, sweet. You know, how easy was that? Yes. Right? And I love so that. Cute. And you can add other colors too. Um, you can add as many as you like, but I love yes. just that. Silver gold. Mm -hmm. Silver yeah, gold. simple, yeah. like that. So you can see here we play with thin. Like on this one, it for me was kind of the forest. Uh, here it's the lotus one, so it's more like, and, and the elephant, it's more like a boho style. Mm -hmm. And then in here, I love the cactus and the fox. Right. I thought they have to be together. Yeah. I don't know if fox <laughs> lives around cactus, but I thought they were cute together. <laughs> I think they're really sweet. I was tempted to seal one of those. <laughs> I did it. Next time. Next time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to show you how to finish this piece that I did here with the uh, mixed metal. So let's make some space okay. around us. So um, this is a cute little necklace that I wanted to try. And uh, like I said before, I'm so obsessed about those, <laughs> those little link what you have. You can dangle anything. They are so useful. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's a good term. Useful. Yeah, useful. So I cut some chain here and they all have the same length. And uh, here I put some silver, cute little silver uh, leaves because, of course, I wanted to use my owl mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. So How let's put, he is so cute. I just love those uh, little owls. So I'm going to just put that on the chain. Remember when you close a jump ring to twist the jump ring and you push at the same time and you want the two, the part of the jump ring really uh, close well together. There we go. And then I'm just going to put another jump ring here in the middle. Like that and let's see. Oh, that went to the wrong link. I love this chain also. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a um, satin gold. It's really pretty. Really soft. Yes. And it contrasts with that shiny silver. So nice. Yes. So there we go. It's really cute. And then um, I wanted a chain that was completely different. And I chose these uh, bead links. Mm -hmm. I love those chains because they already have beads on them and it's so easy to use them. And they all hooked with uh, uh, eye pins. So it's really easy to just take this eye pin out. Um, let's, yeah, let's do that first. So I'm just going to open one here. Let's see. Like that. I'll just open, take this out. And I can close it back. So what I can do is um, hook then my clasp on one side and for closing and opening jump ring I like to use um, a chain nose plier and a flight nose pliers because I think that 
I can hold mm -hmm. my jump ring much yeah. easier. So I have one side here and then I just need to have a jump ring for this uh, side for this necklace. Oh. And then just Ooh, that. It's getting pretty. Yeah. <laughs> so I need to check on my chain because I think I have one link uh, too much on this one. Let's see. So yes, let's go this way. Yes, so I need to take one link here out. That's what I love about this bead link chain is they're so easy yes. to make them your own. Mm -hmm. um, I like to dissect them. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> You, oh, that's you know, true. put little new beads in there, <laughs> yes. make it unique. I that's love, true. I love those. And this is a little, a cute little drop. You can mm -hmm. use that as a dangle oh, too. Definitely. So don't throw that away. You can always use it. And on this one, so let's put the clasp on the other side. And then the next thing that you have to do is just to hook the other side of the necklace on this and then your necklace is done look at oh, how cute so is that pretty yes i think it's really cute oh, too love the color with it yeah, yeah <laughs> so on this necklace let's see we have silver we have gold and here we have a uh, gunmetal and we have this cute little um little bead so we have three finish mm -hmm. in here and i think it goes really well together yeah, i do too <laughs> Very fun. Yeah, so I hope that gives you some inspiration to play with different metal because really there is so much that you can do with that. So just don't stick to silver right, or gold, but right. you can mix so many mix things together. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much, Sherry, thank you. for coming and playing with me. Fun to play, always. It's always fun. <laughs> And thank you so much for joining me today at uh, Arby's Cafe and make sure to subscribe to our email uh, newsletter like that you can see our great promotion and our ideas. So thank you. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. A bientôt. Bye bye.